Hello, good morning, brothers and sisters. Nathaniel Rapture Watchers here for Jesus. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. I love you all, brothers and sisters. We're another day closer. Another day closer. Hope you guys are staying warm. It's actually a little warmer here, and the snow's finally starting to melt. I hope you guys are keeping your heads up. I'm praying for everybody every single day. Just keep growing tight with the Lord. Keep keeping in your prayers. Keep praying for everyone. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to get on here and let the Lord take over. As always, I've been in a lot of prayer this morning. and feel a little bit of heaviness. We've been saying this for some time now. It's just uh, literally we are so close on the verge of something happening, you guys. And of course the government's just trying to hide everything. And like everything's just normal. And everybody's going on about their business. But thank God that we are awake and our eyes are open. And our ears are open. And we are children of God. And no one can take that away. And we know what's going on. I was watching something last night. Uh, something about all these truckers. There's been truckers like getting robbed, and uh, they can't find them missing persons. I don't know. They they've been putting out like um, it's saying that the government doesn't even talk about this. When you look at, at it on the news, you can't even barely find this stuff. And then you find other stuff about um, you know the actual people's family talking about it. It's sad. It's sad. But I'm so happy and grateful, brothers and sisters, that we have each other and we have Jesus Christ in us. Let's see if I can find a Bible scripture here. Let go of that door there. Doeth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endure all things. Charity never faileth, but whatever there be prophecies, they shall fail. Where Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, as I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face know, I know in part, but then I shall know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. That's First Corinthians uh, 13. Uh, let me see. Luke 6.36 But love, your, love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing in return. And... Let's see. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and you shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father is also merciful. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you met with, it shall be measured to you again. And I just want to talk to you. I want to talk to you guys for a minute. I've noticed... Uh, this time, this time here, and this, this literally past year, as far as it, 
whenever I go into pray, and you guys probably know this too, I don't know, it seems like it gets harder. It gets harder to focus. It gets harder to stay in that spot and all these thoughts come rushing your, in, into your mind. That's been happening to me a lot here lately, really bad. And so I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, if I haven't made a lot of videos every day. But I feel like I'm, you know, I just want to stay in with Jesus first over everything. So, you know, and uh, it's like distractions are heavy, heavy, heavy. So no matter what, even if you have to just shut the TV off, walk outside, talk to your Father by yourself. Okay, that's the best suggestion because it's been it's been uh, kind of very hard to even focus. And I don't know if you guys noticed that. If you have, I'm sure you have. And and my wife's noticed it too. And the best thing, I mean, even when we have the Bible playing, so what I literally do is I just sit there and I repeat. I say the Bible scriptures in my head, out loud, everything, and just keep repeating them talking them out and talking to the Father and honestly what it really does is it makes me it pulls me closer to him where I pray more talk to him more because it's like we have to be in touch with him even more now and prayer is our best weapon brothers and sisters you guys know this always keep in prayer I love you guys so much I'm sorry that I, I will get back into the video, so, and, uh, I've just been taking care of things around here, and I definitely always put God first, no matter what, relationship with Him. I'm going to help keep you, brothers and sisters, encouraged as we pray together, we'll say a prayer here, and the gospel, of course, otherwise this whole message would be bad, but I know as the levels get get a little bit higher as it seems for us to focus prayer and all that just just dig into them more brothers and sisters I always keep picturing this and it's true is we're literally in the Father's hand <laughs> and it sometimes feels like we're running around going back and forth sometimes it feels that way but he has us he has us and he will not let the enemy grab us he will not let death has been defeated victory is won in Jesus Christ, I feel the Holy Spirit now, brothers and sisters, heavy. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you for being with us every day. And you know, if you guys, I know how it is sometimes when you, when you, we have our little boo-boos and mistakes, and then you, you feel like you can't talk to your father anymore. Well, all, either what I do is when I'm feeling that, that kind of blockade, I, I just think, Father, I thank you so much for your grace. Thank you for always forgiving me. And and you are worthy. I am not worthy. And then it's like all of it's empty after that. You know, it's like you can talk to him. I had, I had that happen a lot. It's like the enemy tries to block you. He tries to block you. To, you know, always lies to seize. I watched, uh, what was it, Brother Chris's video? I caught something he said. He's always, I love what he says. He's a great uh, brother in Christ. But you know how the devil was tempting Jesus with those three temptations. He wanted him to bow down and worship him. Right? And of course he didn't. And he fasted for 40 days. I mean, to even think about that and how hard that would be to fast. But he did not bow down. And he always went back to the scripture. You know, and you shall um, you shall not live on uh, food that you eat, but every word from the word of God. That's what we live off of. I mean, we can literally live off the Bible for days, for days, brothers and sisters. And just don't give up, guys. You know, always. I know I'm kind of blunt I, when I tell you guys you're beautiful. You are because you're children of God. Your brothers and sisters. I want you to remember that. Because you are a beautiful person. You're, our Father sees us that way. You are a beautiful son. You are a beautiful daughter. And beautiful brother. And don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. I have been so blessed. So blessed man. To have you 
you guys as a family in my life, to have my wife, and she's never left my side. I've always had her, I've had my dad, the family that's there, and mainly the father, the father, and he, he always puts people in the right places at the right times, just like you guys. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe in coincidences. It's all part of his plan. He's the father. He's beautiful. He's glorious. So don't hang your heads, brothers and sisters. He has us. We're in his palm. He has a number of our heads. Hair, <laughs> hair on our heads. Counted. And you guys know, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a prophet. I'm not none of those things. But I am, a, I am a believer. I am a son. I have the Holy Spirit. He is my father. You guys are my brothers and sisters. And if there's someone that watches this video, does not know Jesus Christ, please jump on the ark now. As once you are saved, you are always saved. And that is the truth. And I feel sorry for those other brothers and sisters that do not know that. It's like they're not trusting in what he did. Just one drip of Jesus' blood covering us. It covers all sin. I mean, to think about that and how precious that is. And you guys know how it is when you have a, a child. And how much we love our child. And could we ever get rid of our child and let him go or her? You know, even if you adopted a child and then we were pretty much grafted in, you know, as a Paul, what he said. But we are not, we, he is not going to remove us. Once a child of God, always a child of God. That's why all these other people are so confused, brothers and sisters, because the enemy is working on them over time, trying to tell them they lost their salvation, that they did this and did that, and they screwed it up. You cannot screw it up. His grace is way more powerful than anything me or you can ever do. Just remember that. If I have to get on here every day and tell you how beautiful you guys are and that you're a child of God, I will. And I will continue to do it. I love you, brothers and sisters, so much. And like I said, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you need to know Him and believe what He did on the cross. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 He died for all of us, all of our sin. His perfect blood paid for every sin, past, present, and future. He is coming back, but first will be the rapture of the church, and then sudden destruction. And broad is the way of destruction, and narrow is the way of Jesus Christ. And I want, please, you guys, to walk the narrow path. And once you have His Holy Spirit and you believe what Jesus Christ did on the cross, you are saved and you have the Holy Spirit. You literally, you begin a relationship with the Father through Jesus, because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It's like Brother Tom said, no other uh, religious figure, and he's right, has ever been the way, the truth, and the life. And just like Philip said, was asking, what does God the Father look like? And Jesus said, you're talking to me, so you, this is what he is. He pretty much said, he is God the Father in the flesh. You know, he is God in the flesh. He put on flesh, was sinless, perfect man and, and God all in all it's hard to grasp and he died for all of our sin because we all sin we all fall short we all fall short and think <laughs> so thankful that we have him and he ties us together it's like I was talking about yesterday love 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 and Jesus is love and he's binding us all together with this beautiful word I love you, brothers and sisters, and please get on the ark now. And you know, the government is trying so hard, so hard to cover all this up and make everything...